Look at this one. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> I just have the image. I have no stories. I haven't done anything with the children. Are these ancestors? No, actually, my mother, who died in 2001, mm -hmm. took care of two old ladies who died about 30 years ago, and they were in their late 80s, early 90s. When they died, Mommy inherited the house and the contents. Mm. Then when Mommy died, I inherited the contents. Okay. So I started going through, I found this box of images, and started going through them. I mean, they're, oh gosh, there must be about at least 400 images. So I picked through. Mm -hmm. Found those I was interested in, mm -hmm. and I used them in my artwork. This one I particularly like, and it's the same woman, mm. obviously. Wow. Oh. So it was actually the same photograph. She yes, had yes. Okay. And I used her, this woman, in this piece. Oh. This is called Toil, Tears, and Grace. Oh, I see. And here the earthen jug represents the toil of the black woman. Uh -huh. This woman lying down, there's a tear coming down here, the mm -hmm. tears for the pain and suffering mm -hmm. we've endured. Can we take it out? And still here, okay. uh, able to stand with grace mm. after having endured. So what was your process? Mm -hmm. did, did it start with this? Or did this have it started it? with these images uh -huh. after working with them mm. over a period of time. Mm. Then they start to come to you at night. Mm. And I always thought that was real freaky. You know, mm. I've heard people talk about yeah. that before. But yeah. it's true. It happens. Yeah. You live with them long enough. Yeah. Then they start to talk to you. Mm. And they did. Mm. And this one in particular, mm -hmm. this woman, this is my signature piece here. Mm -hmm. I used her in this one. This oh. is... Um, called watching out. Watching out. Watching out. Because there was always a black woman in the window, yeah. whether it's a grandmother, auntie, or mother, watching the children as they played to make sure no harm came to them while they were outside. So this is the very same woman. The background is an old shotgun house uh, shot in Barbados. Mm -hmm. That you, that's you mm -hmm. shot? Yeah, I shot. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I just sandwich wow, them together. Beautiful. Now this one I love. She was probably a school teacher mm -hmm. and she was able to save enough money to get on a boat and go over to England. She wrote postcards back to her family, oh. telling them of her voyage and the people that she met and mm -hmm. the things that she's doing and mm -hmm. So after talking to her, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then she gave me the inspiration for that one toy. I mean, um, postcards and pansies. That's what I call postcards that. Postcards and pansies. Postcards and pansies. I love the, this one. It's, what is this called? Uh, Man of Honor. Man of Honor. Man this of is honor. amazing. This was the image, the, mm. the original image. Mm -hmm. And this is what I created. He probably served in the military, mm -hmm. hence the American flag mm -hmm. behind him. Mm -hmm. But you'll see all of the, the period mm -hmm. uh, newspaper mm -hmm. back behind him. Mm -hmm. Do you know mm -hmm. his name? How many of no, these? No, I don't know any? the names mm -hmm. of any of these mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. wow. No, I'm sorry, I don't. Mm -hmm. I wish I did. Yeah. I wish I had the real stories behind them. Mm -hmm. It would be mm -hmm. interesting. When you okay. work with um, the men in terms of the images, mm -hmm. is there a different, is they, do they speak to you differently than, let's say, the women? No, speaking is speaking in the spirit world, and you have no gender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. they tell me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, he told me the same thing. I got mm -hmm. this story mm -hmm. from him, and uh, that's all I know. That, mm -hmm. That's what mm -hmm. I could present, mm -hmm. or the best way mm -hmm. of presenting mm -hmm. him. Mm -hmm. and the light in which he wanted to be presented. Mm -hmm. What is the importance of this kind of archive uh, 
you know, in terms of inspiring younger people or well, that's you know, the next just generation. It, is or us, to let us. them know that we do have a history um, because they have been told you have no history, it's not important, you know, you were young with slaves and that's where you started. Mm -hmm. They don't know that we invented language, we mm -hmm. invented math, we mm -hmm. invented, mm -hmm. go on, and, and, and that's where you get your sense of pride, mm -hmm. is when you know who you are and where you came from. Mm -hmm. And it's through projects like this, things that they can actually see, touch, feel, because we tend to be very tactile, mm -hmm. I am. Mm -hmm. Give me a book, you know, and mm -hmm. I may read it, and I've taught myself the wrong way, mm -hmm. so I have to unlearn it. Mm -hmm. But if you show me, let me touch it, feel it, smell it, taste it, I've got it for life. Mm -hmm. And that's the way so many people learn. Mm -hmm. This one, I love doing this one. This is called My Family, My Roots. Mm -hmm. And it says, no one comes from the earth like grass. We come like trees, we all have roots. Maya Anjou. Mm. And this image I shot uh, going out Route 129. Mm. It was a tree standing there, mm. barren, all mm. by itself, no mm. other trees. Mm. And I said, you know what? This is so much like mm. the black family. Mm -hmm. We're out there alone. We have been stripped of everything. Mm -hmm. And we have borne the wind, the rain, the snow, the hail, the sleet. Mm -hmm. and we still stand, we mm. still stand tall. Mm. In spite of it, mm. we are survivors, just yeah. as this tree is. Mm. So what I actually did, I told you I worked with a lot of roots, mm. and I took roots from plants, and then I adhered them mm. to the canvas. Mm -hmm. And so that makes it really 3D mm -hmm. and having the roots think kind of like that. Then I used wow. this family, uh -huh. Mm -hmm. My family, my roots. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I love this piece. This beautiful. has a lot of meaning. Yeah. I put a lot into this yeah, piece. Beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. This one is stepping forth. Mm. Now mm -hmm. again, Barbados, beautiful. the sugar cane fields in mm -hmm. Barbados. They mm -hmm. were back there actually cutting mm -hmm. the sugar cane. Mm -hmm. I was in a bus riding along. Mm -hmm. And of course, the um, Ghanaian symbol. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jian Yan mm. uh, except for God, I fear none. I wear it all the time. Mm. Except for God, except I for fear God, none. I fear none. This woman looks so proud to me, and I have no idea what her background was, but she may have been a school teacher. Just by the fact of who she is, I'm sure that this was probably close to her background, where there was some field work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, involved. So using that background for her in particular, and it's by the grace of God, the symbol there, behind her right shoulder, mm -hmm. that she is able to step forth, to mm -hmm. come forth mm -hmm. from this kind of an existence with mm -hmm. pride and dignity. Mm -hmm. And this is what I see in all of these images, mm -hmm. is the pride and dignity. It was quite a process, but I enjoyed it giving them voice, because so often there is no voice. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they're not given the opportunity to speak. So I'm glad they came to me to allow me to speak for them. Watching out, stepping forth, toil, tears, and grace. My family, my roots, man of honor, postcards and pansies. <laughs>